between Flo's Fall and Holidays, my Christmas videos, and um, today I'm going to be doing a Christmas life hack slash Christmas tips. And so right here, if you're wondering, this is my crazy dog Nora, and um, she's our new puppy. Ow! If you haven't seen Cliff's video, go check it out. It will be linked down below if you want to learn more about this crazy um, child. But so anyway, let's get started. <laughs> it's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mist. Okay, so the first life hack for Christmas is a DIY advent calendar, which I think is super cool because advent calendars can get really expensive, and you just get chocolate every single day. It's the same chocolate, so there's nothing to look forward to or no surprise. So this DIY is really gonna help out with a little bit of a surprise every day to get you ready for Christmas. First thing that you're gonna do is get a 24 whole muffin tin and that is going to serve as every single day until the 25th aka Christmas. The second thing that you're going to do is get magnetic paper. I got mine from Michaels and that's going to serve as the little doors for the advent calendar and so you're just going to cut out little circles of the magnetic paper and then you're going to cut out circles from either Christmas paper, wrapping paper, or you could paint it yourself. But I took wrapping paper and I cut it to the exact same size and then I taped it on the back of the magnet paper. And then lastly, I put numbers on them on each little door and then I stuck it on. But so next you're gonna fill each hole with candy. And so I'm using Reese's and Reese's little mini cups and then also some M&Ms I believe. And those are just gonna be really good and it's gonna be like a different surprise every day so I don't expect which day for which candy. You can also put in little pieces of paper of things to do in the muffin tin which I think would be really exciting like go cut down a tree or make your stockings or stuff like that and that is how you do the first DIY. I don't want a lot for Christmas There is just one thing I need Don't care about the present Underneath the Christmas tree Alright so the next life hack that we are going to be doing is a DIY like sleeve for your mug because sometimes mugs are way too hot and then they burn your hands and this is probably the easiest DIY that's gonna be in this video slash ever so the only thing you're gonna have to do is take a sock and that can be Christmas themed it can be anything mine are fuzzy and I got mine from five below but you could also just take an old washed sock and then use this and you're gonna cut a small bit of it as if you're like using it as a sleeve, kind of like the Starbucks sleeve, and then you're just gonna slip it onto your mug, and it's as easy as that. This is the time I hear we can give it, give it, give it, give it. Put one through it and on your list, you can get it, get it, get it. The next life hack is to do all of your shopping on either Black Friday or Cyber Monday because it's so much cheaper than doing it like the rest of the time where they just rip you off with really expensive prices. Then also it's really fun if you went like a, with a group of friends it can be super fun and a great experience. And then also it's just relieves all of your stress for the rest of the Christmas season because you don't have to be worrying about shopping and you just have it all done and you can like be bragging to all your friends, ooh I already got all my Christmas shopping done. Well they haven't got any. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year. Santa, tell me. The next life hack or tip is to change all your wallpapers to either your computer, your phone, your iPad, or any device that you have to Christmas wallpapers. I know this sounds really stupid, but it really gets you in the mood for Christmas and it really gets you through school because it gives you like something to look forward to. And yeah, that, I already did that, so, and it's November, so what you gonna do? We've all had that experience where the Christmas wrapping paper is literally rolling all over the floor and it's, it's just a hot mess and it makes your room look 10 times worse and it's just so disgusting. So a life hack to try to help you clean up your room and make it look neater is to take a toilet paper roll that's already like all like bare and whatever and then cut it like cut one side of it and then put it around the Christmas paper and it just looks so much better. Ho ho ho! Shake up the happiness, wake up the happiness, shake up the happiness, it's Christmas. 
Christmas time. Life hack is to put Christmas scented candles all over your room or all over your house just to put you in the Christmas spirit. And not all of us get our trees or our Christmas decor out right away. So putting your candle out kind of just gives the vibe of Christmas even though you might not have your tree up, or even if you have an artificial tree, it just literally makes your house smell so good. And the last tip is to make a Spotify playlist for Christmas, and if you guys don't have a Spotify playlist, or if you don't feel like making one, I have one, and I will be adding songs all throughout December and the rest of November, and my Spotify is s 19 f Cribble. don't ask why it's called that, it just is, and so it will be right here, and it will be linked down below, and I have playlists for every single month, all the way from like January of last year to like December of this year, and so if you like my music or you have any suggestions, leave it down below, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, comment down below what your favorite thing about the holiday season is, like if you like this video and want more Christmas videos, and subscribe down below for more videos. Bye! Cry